For everybody in the U.S. today, Honey and I would like to wish everybody a happy 4th of July and stay safe out there. All right, so. Let's go ahead and, interesting, you've got a few normal looking nails here and then the rest of them are so thick. So, so the knee was done, the left knee was done how long ago? Within the last five years, I okay. would say. And he's kind of had trouble with it ever since. But he kind oh. of, he wanted to stick a pillow under it. And I said, it says right on the rules here, you can't do that, that's a no-no. But he didn't listen to me until we went to the doctor. And the doctor told him if he continued to do that, he wouldn't be able to straighten it or walk with oh, it. Oh, to like sit or sleep with it, yeah, a pillow nothing. under it, yeah. to keep it flexed? Yeah. Okay. I mean, he said it would just heal that way, and he would never be able to straighten uh, it out completely or bend it completely. I hadn't heard that before, but that makes sense. Yeah. So he's better now. He does some exercises and takes a little walk every day. Right. So, Pretty thick, aren't they? They are, but I'm still gonna win. Oh, good for you. <laughs> That's quite the tool you've got. This isn't even the big one. In fact, I'm gonna get out the big one for that. Right tools for the job, yes? What was your profession when you were working? I worked for Honeywell. I was a union rep for them. Did you last enjoy? Last fifteen years. Did you enjoy that? Yeah. Is that like Teamsters? Or? Yep. Yeah. Yeah. Eleven forty-five. Yeah. Were you at the Honeywell just up the street? Well, all the Honeywells. <laughs> they were all over the place. We had eleven different eleven different plants at one time. In, in the state? Yeah. In the metro area. In the metro area. In the metro area. Okay. The metro area that he had That's right. There was one downtown near Abbott. Yeah, that was, that that was, was a big one. Hopkins, St. Louis Park, Northeast. Robinsdale, here all over Okay. Way. He worked for him at the right time because he got a pension. And it's a good thing. If you work for Honeywell now, I don't think they give anybody a pension. <laughs> they give you $50,000 to retire. Hmm. So these just kind of peel off in chunks. So we just take them off in chunks. So we just take these off a little piece at a time. Um, oh, sorry. Sometimes it's kind of hard to figure out where the nail ends and the skin starts. That's the other reason that we do it in little chunks. Envision what you'd do. I thought maybe you'd have to put them out and remove the nails totally. <laughs> no, and even if we do remove nails, that's done just right here under some local anesthesia. Really? But I think if we can keep you coming in every few months, we can keep you comfortable and keep these from getting quite so thick. Hurting you at all? No, no. Okay. So I'm going to take off pretty much whatever is not attached to the skin underneath. So you're not going to have much nail left here, but it will feel so much better. 
And I'm assuming that you're not entering any foot modeling contests in the near future. Okay. So then we're good. Now, the fungus that's in the nails, which is pretty much what this is, it will not go into your bloodstream, it will not make you sick, it just lives right in the nail and the skin. So you don't have to worry that it's gonna make you sick or anything. Should he be regularly soaking his feet in something? Don't need to. Mm -mm. No, if we were gonna treat the fungus that's making these nails thick, we would definitely do it with an oral medication, oh. but um, right now it sounds like you got bigger fish to fry. Yes, we kind of do. <laughs> yeah, so we'll hold off on that and come back to it if you decide you want to. So you're headed down to Rochester tomorrow. Tomorrow, to Mayo. Yes. Yeah. We've been down. We went down for three days to start with the trains. Okay. And get most of the stuff already. He's supposed to do a sleep study, and then, and then the final when we hear all the results. Okay. On the seventh of July. Okay. Let's go over to the other side. Thank you for letting us do this. This is, It's not something I usually ask people the very first time they come in. So, but you got, these are, I would consider these great nails. You wouldn't, but I do. <laughs> great for your YouTube, you mean. Exactly. <laughs> and very cathartic to, to trim them. And the relief will be so immediate. Oh, You're going to feel so much better that you'll be able to go home and put a shoe on. That would be the part I like the best because he's shuffling around in these slippers. In slippers. <laughs> it's a, a weird sound. <laughs> right, and you're more likely to fall. You have yeah, a exactly. fall risk yeah, if you're slipping. wearing yeah. scuffs. Yep. Yeah. Yeah. So, good day. Put shoes on the I got a little skin there. I don't know. What you got? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I think if there had been any skin, you'd have been screaming a lot more than that. It's probably a little pressure. So you're going to go home a couple pounds lighter here. <laughs> and you go for that sleep study. So that means you have to stay there overnight, yeah? Well, they didn't say that. That's the part that's confusing, and they're having us be there at 11.15 in the morning. So, so I, maybe they put everything on you they need to put on you, and you just take it home, and it records while you sleep? Oh, maybe. I don't know. That sounds a little... I don't know either. I have no idea what it's... There was no orders to do anything specific. I mean, if he does have to stay overnight, we'll just stay, but... <laughs> You gotta do what you gotta do. <laughs> and here you got two good nails on this foot. You got three on your left and two on the right. So that means five good ones and five really grody ones. Grody, that's a yeah. 1990s term. <laughs> Thank you.
have one toe that just reflexively jumps in the vibration. That's not hurting you, is it? No, it's just a view. Just a vibration, yeah.
last one. We're going to come back to this. if we can get some of this gunk out of the corners so gunk that's a technical term yep i recognize it yeah <laughs> when i use i'm sorry i know this is just a bunch of dead skin and stuff down in here maybe what i'll do is not go so aggressive on it this time and we'll get a little bit more off next time chunk down in here I'm trying to get right there That's it. there we go nice big open space now Some of this is just some thick skin and some sock fuzz right up here that got caught. And then this is just, again, this is just some thick skin up here that'll, that'll kind of go down. Soaking his feet for an hour? Yeah, you know, you don't have to. I mean, there's nothing in there that has to be addressed. Um, if soaking your feet makes them feel good, that's fine. But it's not something medically that you need to do. Okay. So then we're just going to wipe everything down, get a little lotion on them, and then I think what we ought to do, most people come in between two and three months, so usually I'll set you up at two and a half months. Um, and so we'll have you back, we'll have you set that appointment up as you leave for the next one, okay? And that way we can just keep these in good shape so that they don't hurt. Ooh. Oh. <laughs> it's plain old alcohol. Very long, elegant toes you have. Are you wearing socks today? Yes. No. Okay, I'll put those on and then you can put your slippers on. And I hope everything goes well and you know you get good answers yeah. down at Mayo. Two sets of socks. Now. I see that. Oh, there it is. You got cold feet, huh? 
He does, yes. His whole self is cold. Yeah, you know, if you look out um, on our shelf. Yes, 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 I grabbed it because I'm thinking this I don't is think the bottom one go up. Oh, the bottom one didn't go up? Do you want me to put them on separately? No, why don't you? Did you get the right one fixed, or you want me to take it off and redo it? Take a look at it. Okay. okay. It looks like it's okay. All right. Well, everything looks good for now, and we'll see you back then in about 10 weeks, okay? Okay. Thank you. All right.